Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we'll be reacting to the fifth episode as reincarnated as a sword. We left off last episode. We saw a friend actually go with the Avengers to the actual Goblin Highland out that we found out that was actually a dungeon. So we'll be following up to see where Frank's at with actually that. And will she be able to take out the Goblin King and Queen? Who knows? Will she be able to take out the demon? We're about to find out. So, of course, I will be breaking this down for YouTube. So, you want the full length reaction? Check out our Patreon, get early access to our reactions, get full length reactions, and so much more perks. But for right now, let's get into this reaction. Okay, it looks like we're following up what's going on with Rain. It looks like the other ventures are actually in the cave, kind of just doing the thing, taking out certain things, but also. Brain went alone to actually take out some stuff so that way she get crystals because the crystals that she gets can be used to actually evolve skills she already owns because that's why she was doing it in the first place so it looks like she's just gonna follow up like taking out stuff but they don't want to kill all of them i assume because like it looks suspicious uh, it looks like they bought an item that will return them and make a quick escape so that's actually clutch Okay, so it looks like they're going after certain goblins with certain skills if the targets are big enough. Meaning that they'll multi skills. Of course, you know, she's gonna get those skills no matter what. Oh, that's all. Awesome. So it looks like he's, she's doing a good job, and of course, the appraisal skill, he's able to look at which goblins have what skills and which goblins don't. So he's only targeting the ones that have like the skills he wants. And then she's doing a good job kind of just following up getting the actual crystals and stuff. So it looks like the split mind skill is he can use double spells at once. And of course she's like, teacher's so cool, that's awesome. We love to see it, we love to see it. Looks like she couldn't use it because she was limited to her mind. Looks like split mind was OP. But since he's not actually like a living organism, he can actually use it, which is interesting. So there's multiple forces on Jen. Of course, the lower they go, they're of course going to find tougher enemies, and then they're going to run to the boss, of course. Echo location, thermal sense, sense presence, and also the thermal vision. Dude, that's going to be like way more than enough skills to kind of like find any enemy nearby, which is pretty OP. And they're done, though, for sure. Oh, they're not going to kill him. I thought they were going to kill him. Looks like they're just using them to locate where the king and queen are at. Looks like the other ventures are having an easy time to just kind of clean up. So it looks like most of the skills she has since they're such high level, the other ventures know like they, pretty much everything won't be really a match for her. Looks like we've located the big bosses, the king and queen. Yep, for sure. He's definitely located them. So it looks like since there's so many of them, he doesn't want her to go straight in there. So he's going to use his spells to actually kind of clean up. And then she's going to she's gonna use spells to clean up all the small enemies. Then she's going to king up the clean and king and queen. I cannot say that right. Yeah, okay. Here goes mind splitting. And you're just going to absolutely steam all these guys with fire blast. Oh, wait, this is fire burst. This is the one he used earlier where just absolutely smoked everything. The fire job from just to clean it up. I feel like nothing's gonna survive that though, because like, dude, he's already OP, right? And now he's gonna like, I don't know, I just feel like there's so many enemies there, he's gonna steam old. Uh-oh. Oh, he killed the king and queen for a moment. Looks like he overdid it. Looks like Frank's upset. Ah, no. Dude, that's so cute, but also sad at the same time. It's, he's just, dude, she's like, bro, you stole my fight. Oh, there's a boss door. If there's a door like that, there's probably a boss room. So you know for a fact there's about to be some strong enemies in there. Dude, she's excited versus the dungeon master. Sounds like bugs. Oh, it's probably just a bunch of bugs. Oh, yeah, just a bunch of bugs. They're using a bit of CGI here. It isn't bad, though, per se. Huh. They're like just giant ladybugs, man. So this is literally just like the mini boss room. Like, so we had her like take out the king and queen, but they weren't that strong. And then this is kind of like the mini boss before the main boss. It's like kind of something like similar out of a Legend of Zelda feels like it's this. I will say the amount of them though is actually ridiculous. Looks like he's gonna use telekinesis to hold them in place, and then she gets to dice them up, dude. That just looks OP. That doesn't even look like telekinesis. That looks like, like time stall or something like that. That's just insane. She's just gonna dice him up because of level seven sword arts. And he's just absorbed all the crystals from that. Oh, 30 minutes later. 
So she's been chopping them up for a while, and they just keep reappearing, it looks like. It looks like they're being summoned. So there might be a summoner. Yeah, it looks like the red one's a summoner. He's got a summon skill. I'm gonna go all out. So it looks like Fran's pretty satisfied with her fight, so Chi-Chi's just gonna clean up the rest of them. And of course, he's just gonna let the let Fran have the last one. And that's gonna get some good skills. I wonder what Frayne would be able to summon, because like, theoretically speaking, she has Zord a summon skill, so that means she could summon stuff, right? Just imagine if she can summon swords similar to that of her teacher. I don't know, I feel like that'd be pretty cool. I don't think that's how that works, but she did get a uh, skill, and also some other skills leveled up in the process too. And there's the main boss door for sure. So you know for a fact, like, the big enemy's in there, the demon. Oh, looks like the demon is in there. She just felt the presence of a strong aura. It's like she's gonna get really s jacked up before the fight. It's kind of insane the thing the teacher can just kind of give her every status boost in the game. Because, like, he's basically got, like, a ton of mana, right? And he just boosts her up to max. It looks like he's gonna make a curry if she survives this, which is hype. And she's excited! You know, it's gonna be super quiet until the main boss appears. And there's the main boss, the demon we saw earlier. So they mean the deepest part. So it looks like the, um... What's her name? I don't remember. The the person at the front desk is kind of worried about Fran and them. But it looks like she kind of like knows that she'll be fine. Sometimes she's kind of worrisome because like they're in a dungeon and stuff. So yeah. And it looks like the other adventures can't go into that room. Because it's like a boss room, so she's the only one allowed because she entered in first. Like if she had a party, she could go in with them. But since she's in there, it's kind of locked now. So she's by herself for the time being. To build tension. So he's a greater demon, not arch demon. Thing, he's really powerful. He has over a thousand stats on everything, which is insane. And he's got bonus skills and dark skill taker. Okay, yeah, yeah. Literally, skill taker would probably be the biggest thing in his arsenal just because he can steal skills. I don't know how that works though, if like you try to steal the skills from Fran, because the scales are not exactly her, some of them. So I don't know if that would officially work. He's also like the str he's probably the strongest thing in the verse now. Like originally the teacher, the, the, teacher, the um, the guy, I forgot, the Oni. Is it Oni or, oh he's an orc, he's an orc, the guy we saw at the gate. He was um, the strongest she first, but now he's like the strongest. And he has a dungeon master, it looks like. Definitely dungeon master, the core is right there next to him. Dude, he's super weak. He's like trash stats, man. It looks like the demon does not uh, listen to the dungeon master because he is strong enough to control the demon. Dude. That demon's just trying to kill his like dungeon master. It looks like the demon's got a special sword too. So they both have really high mana capacity, making them way stronger. So you got like 450 plus. Right and them are just going all out. Sheesh. Probably my favorite skill frame has Zora Blade for sure, because that is just like a way super OP skill. Oh, he can recall the sort of like the skills. Okay, that's OP. Sword skill of shadow, returning shadow. Dude, she needs to get her hands on that sword. That'd be pretty nice to have. Dude, he's just disappeared. Oh my! What the hell? Dude, she just lost both her arms. Now, I thought the part where she decapitated, like, removed the guy's legs was bad, but this is stupid. So it looks like the sword got. He, she's he's protecting her. At least the demon's backing off. Oh my God, poor friend, poor friend. Okay, it looks like he's healing her at the back. I feel like it would stuff scars around her, right? But holy crap, man, that's insane. But damn, that was like wow. That went from one to ten real freaking fast. I will say, it's weird when people have skills like that where they can like just disappear and reappear. And they're so predictable too because you know most times around when they use that kind of skill, they're just gonna appear right behind you. And you're just gonna be like block, right? I don't know, like, yeah, she even knows what's up. Like, dude, what a waste of a skill. Like, he can use it in so many manners, why would you use it like that? Just the simple attack, but he uses it with some magic combos. 
So it looks like he's just trying to figure out what type of magic he's doing. He's not teleporting. It looks like some shadow magic of some form, but he can't figure out what's going on. So it looks like it's a part of a shadow. He's teleporting in the shadows. Yeah. Why didn't you leave without the start, my guy? He literally went for a sword jab right on the ground. He didn't start that at the beginning. That's such a waste. So it looks like she comboed and she got a good hit. So it looks like she tried to poison him with the Sonic Blood combo, but it wasn't that strong enough. So it looks like they might have to use their feather return to get out of that scenario, because like they can't really beat him. It looks like she's determined to win because she wants to eat the curry, but also she doesn't want to back down. Oh, that's a clean hit. That's a clean hit. So she's got a better swordsmanship skill and agility skills than he does, so he can't do anything about it. Oh wait, he might do that. He might use the skill taker skill, which actually be worst case scenario. If you're curious to see how that works. So it looks like he uses skill taker skill. So he did use skill taker to make his skills his. I don't know if that officially works though, but it might. That'd be a, that'd be really bad if it did. And we make them on par. Well, that was episode four. Uh, so let's go over that and I'll give my final thoughts. So, episode 4 was kind of just like the warm-up before the actual fight. So we of course got to see Finn kind of collect some skills beforehand from the goblins, take out the king and queen, which teacher kind of overkilled and, you know, stole Frane's kills, but then she got the fall with a nice mini boss, the bugs. I would say I'm going to be very interested to see how she used the summon skill because she literally got that, and I don't know what she would in general summon. It might be interesting to see what she does with that down line. I'd be very curious to find out. Maybe she summons like multiple swords like that, like something out of Fate Grand Order or something like that. I don't know. I feel like that'd be pretty hype. Maybe, maybe we'll see something like that. But this skill taker skill on the other hand that he used actually on her to actually like try to steal her swordsmanship skills, I don't know how entirely that's going to work. Like... I don't think it's gonna work, but of course, I will be reacting to the fifth episode tomorrow. So, if you want to see the next reaction early before it comes out, then check out our Patreon, support us there. And then of course, don't forget if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed. And I'll see you guys for another anime reaction later. Jimin out.